Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ADVM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So, all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, then it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Friday, so that is where the green and red line annotations are coming from. And after today's price movement, definitely a nice move to the upwards direction. The reason I have the, the chart all the way over here is if I do that, then things just get much harder to see because of the gap down and then this nasty movement here. But if I get it more so over here, as you saw, you know, it just makes things much easier to see. So the first big thing that you know occurred today, of course now the first thing that occurred was just simply a, a good overall movement. But from the technical point of view is that the price was able to get up above the the 620 mark, and that is just based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So always good when red lines are being uh, you know, changed over to green line. So 620, one of the newest areas of support. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that line down there. Sure, it pertains, just not relevant right now. And in fact, I'm gonna move this line up to that other area of support right there at 580. Yes, those other two green lines where they were, those locations still do matter. They're just not relevant right now. And from the presentation point of view, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere you look. So just trying to keep this as clean as possible. But going forward, the two newest areas of support to watch, 620 preferably staying, you know, seeing the price stay above it. But if the price doesn't hold above that, then the next key level to watch would be down there at 580. What about levels of resistance now going forward? So if this nice bounce is gonna continue on, in the upwards direction, where are some of these potential battlegrounds at? So change this to red for resistance. Next key level, which I think is, yeah, where the price is currently struggling, right there at 635, which makes sense. If you go back here, you can see there was a little bit of a high right there where the price struggled. So once again, struggling right there. So 635, that very near term level, assuming there's no gap downs or anything like that, uh, the price will have a very short uh, you know, journey to go back up before it can start banging on that door again. In the event the 635 mark is broken, the next key level after that, right up at $6.50. So all in all, anyway, look at it. Very, very nice bounce today. Not just a question of can the bulls continue to build upon this bounce as the week plays out. The good news is there's still four days left this week, so let's see how it continues to all play out. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.